Hey guys, today I am going to show you step by step how to create a super AI stock analysis using Autogen Finance Data Visualization, SQLite, Function Schema and Langchain that can respond to collect information, store it in SQL and visualize the data in any format where personality that you like. So you can create a fully custom chatbot that is fully your own and completely different from anything that I might make or anyone else watching this video. So let me give you a quick demo of an example of a live chatbot that's kind of using the strategy that we are going to deploy in this video and you will get a sense of what I mean. As you can see, the user requested a plot of the stock prices of NVDA and AMZN. First, it confirmed the structure of the relevant database table, stock price and its fields. Then the agent provided a Python script designed to fetch and plot the stock data from an SQLite database named stock.db. It used SQL queries to select relevant data and matplotlib for plotting and executed the script successfully, resulting in a graph that displays the changes in stock prices for NVDA and AMZN over time and saves it as stock.png. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. In my previous video, I developed a sample using Langchain's agent toolkit that enables querying SQL databases. While the SQL queries are executed through Langchain, the results are returned in textual format. This approach works well for straightforward requests, such as inquiring about the number of people in a data set. However, this method has its limitations. Notably, it is not suitable for data plotting or further processing since the output results are embedded in the text prompt. Let's go and start coding step one, install the OpenAI package. We are going to go to a terminal and type pip to install OpenAI, Langchain and Autogen. If you are on Mac or Linux, you can try pip3 to install OpenAI, Langchain and Autogen. Once installed, we import OS, Sklite, Y-Finance, Pandas, SQL database, InfoSQL database tool, List SQL database tool, OpenAI and Autogen agents. Sets, the name of the directory we're interested in to database. If a directory named database does not exist and the database directory doesn't exist, this command creates it. We're going to download stock price data for five companies, NVIDIA, NVDA, Tesla, TSLA, Apple, AAPL, Microsoft, MSFT, and Amazon AMZN using Yahoo Finance. Each company retrieves data from March 1st, 2022 to December 31st, 2022. The downloaded data typically includes information like the opening price, highest price, lowest price, closing price, and volume of stocks traded for each trading day within that date range. Let's add a new column named ticker to each of the stock data tables for Nvidia, Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon. In each table, this new column is filled with the respective ticker symbol of the company. NVDA for NVIDIA, TSLA for Tesla, AAPL for Apple, MSFT for Microsoft, and AMZN for Amazon. This helps to easily identify which stock data belongs to which company and combines the stock data from NVIDIA, Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon into a single data frame DF using pd.concat. It then sorts this combined data by date. We are going to store the data frame in an SQLite database, establish a connection to an SQLite database located in the path and save the data frame DF into the database as a table named stock price. If a table with the same name already exists, it is replaced with this new data. Then we close the connection to the database to ensure data integrity and release resources. We create a connection to a SQLite database named stock.db located in the database directory. Set LLM to initialize an instance of OpenAI's language model, specifically the GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct version. The temperature parameter set to zero suggests that the model will generate more deterministic and consistent responses and then create an instance of a tool to combine functionalities of both the SQL database and the language model. 
List SQL database tool. Our input is an empty string, while our output is a comma separated list of tables in the database. I am going to describe a tool to provide information about specific tables in a SQL database. InfoSQL database tool. The input is a comma separated list of tables and the output is the schema and sample rows for those tables. Be sure that the tables exist by calling list SQLR database tool first example input table one table two table creates a configuration schema to set up function schema with name description and parameters if the tool has an argument none these arguments are added to the properties field in the parameters section of the schema and the returning our function schema we initialize two empty structures tools and function you know map are set up tools will hold configuration schemas and function map. Then we loop through the list and process each tool to generate a configuration schema, add the generated schema to the tools list and map the tool name to its execution function. Last time, Langchain was responsible for all DB handling, but this time Autogen will execute queries. The files in WorkDeer can be used by Autogen, so tell it the file name at the agent's prompt. I've modified Autogen's default prompt slightly, added the following at the end. Additional information, you have a database named stock.db that contains information about stock prices. Also, as a bonus, there were times when an SQL code block was created in the output instructions. So I added the instruction, include no more than one code block in a response. Also, I slightly changed the wording of the termination judgment to read, please conclude with terminate once you have successfully answered the user's instruction or question. Let's set up the list to Autogen. We create the config list as follows. Config list is a list containing configuration settings for the model you intend to use. With this configuration, we are ready to use AI agents with Autogen. The user proxy agent has a human input mode parameter, which puts an actual human in the agent loop based on its value. When set to always, it asks for input after every response. For terminate, it only asks at the end of the execution and for never. It does not ask for user inputs. Register the functions with the user proxy agent. We can also extend this by adding another assistant agent to the conversation, such as a SQL chatbot or reviewer. This will help make the output more personalized. Here is how you can do that. Let's try out. Following the preceding steps, the previous function is fine. Now let's proceed to generate a graph programmatically using the gathered data. After executing the above, I verified the table's contents as previously done, developed and executed the program, and obtained the subsequent plot results. So there you go, that was a super AI stock analysis in under 8 minutes. Very simple to interact with open AI and multi-agent and this is obviously quite powerful. You can do a lot more than I did here. I would love to hear what you do with this code in the comment down below. Let me know and I look forward to seeing you in another video.